It is indeed my distinct pleasure to call on His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Socialist People's Libyan Arab Yamahiriya, Dr. Salim Alim, to give his message. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر My dear chairman, brothers and Hajj Murad, brothers and sisters in the Moral Islamic Liberation Front, friends, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, allow me to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to Brother al Haj Murad Ibrahim, the Chairman of Moral Islamic Liberation Front, and to all of you, brothers and sisters in the Moral Islamic Liberation Front, for inviting me in my personal capacity and as a representative of the great socialist Hebrews League and Arab Jamaica. My presence here today traces back the long association of my country with the concern and the interests of all the brothers and sisters Muslims in the Philippines, particularly the keen interest of the leader Colonel Muhammad Gaddafi, which has already produced historic documents of peace for the development and prosperity of Mindanao. The southern Philippine issue continues to be an important item in the agenda of the organization of the Islamic Conference. But for the leader, peace will settle down in Mindanao if all the parties will embrace it, talk about it, adopt a peace means to achieve it, and come to terms with it with sincerity and I recall that in year 2001, during the peace talks between the GRP and the MILF, organized by the International Gaddafi Foundation for Charitable Association, where the MILF was represented by then Chief Negotiator Al Haj Murad Ibrahim, now Chairman of the MILF. The leader, Colonel Muhammad Gaddafi, reminded us of the folly that had happened to the Muslim in former Yugoslavia and Chechnya and advised us to follow the path of peace by applauding the dismemberment of the Republic of the Philippines. He reminded us that when the Muslims were part of the former Yugoslavia and Chechnya, some of them were appointed as deputy vice president, prime minister, and heads of the government agencies. But when a group tried to dismember former Yugoslavia and Chechnya, look what had happened. The victims were Muslim and the disaster continues. Brothers and sisters, the audience with the leader was attended and witnessed by the foreign minister of Indonesia, the representative of the prime minister of Malaysia, and leaders of the MNLF beside the state I'm happy to report today that this current meeting with the leader and bring the lesson for our conception that for peace to settle down in Mindanao. The Imam should learn from the lesson of the Muslims in the former Yugoslavia and Shishni. This means, brothers and sisters, that we cannot go on with a strategic war to dismember the territory of the Republic of the Philippines. The Imam should work for its integrity and deliver the ones from all people to their needs. The current peace talk between the GRB and MILF facilitated by the government of Malaysia 
and the Committee of the Aid of the Organization of Islamic Conference, and witnessed by the termination of the International Military Team from the Board of Malaysia, Libya, and Brunei, and headed by Brother Major General Zulkafi Mohammed Bizain of Malaysia, IMT Chief of Mission, is a golden opportunity for the MILF to translate the, this lesson. I ask the IMLF and the GRB to fast track the negotiation and reach a peace accord in due time so that lasting peace will reign and development, prosperity and decent life of the people in Mindanao, Muslim, Christian and indigenous people can be given attention. There are talks that Jama'a al-Islamiyya, Musayyad group and other identified cooperative are behind in Mindanao to cover their activities. I want to insist that the MILF has commitment to the Republic of Philippines. It even signed a document in Kuala Lumpur to fight together with the GRB tourist groups. This is, this is a strategic commitment that will give Mindanao a facelift because if there is no disturbance in the area, the international community, which is just waiting for the right condition, will come to help Mindanao to fight poverty. It's therefore morally and politically proper for the MILF to push hard its commitment to deal with these groups and to bring initiative to grow to the people its concern for their welfare and development. Brother Harish Murad is a man of dignity and talent. After the death of Brother Chairman Salaman Hashim, more particularly after he was chosen as the new chairman of the MILF, he showed us his sincerity to involve the MILF in this process. I take this sincerity to heart. Therefore, it's now time for the MILF to rally behind him, supporting him, so that little economy will come to the hands of the people. With the GRB MLF final peace agreement of 1996 in place, the MLF, the MLF must initiate more efforts to forge unity not only with the MLF but also with other Muslim sectors in society, so that the Muslims will have full participation in the government without the unity of the Muslims in the Philippines. Every day they will lose. The international community is confused and despite their desire to help. They do not know who and whom to help. But with the unity of the Muslims, there is lots of prospects. The indispensable assistance of the international community will come, and with it, the MILF can give priority to education, training, and cultural dialogue to enhance better understanding between the Muslim and the Christian and the indigenous people to remove social barriers and discrimination. I want to thank Her Excellency, President Gloria Matabadar Oroyo, for her open and constructive policy for peace, of peace, which gives imputes to the current peace talk between the GRB and the MILF. Specifically, I, th I thank Secretary Davis and Secretary Afabi for their sincere implementation of the peace policy of the President, which I hope will put an end the age-old conflict in Mindanao. But while the government of the Philippines is engaged in peace talk with the MILF, I ask that it continues to honor its promised commitment with the Bank of people and work for the general peace and stability in Mindanao, particularly its people, Muslim, Christian, and indigenous people. Before I conclude, I will pray to Almighty Allah that Mindanao will become a shrine and kibla for Muslim, for this for peace and development. Not only, not, only, not only in the Philippines, but the entire of Southeast Asia. In conclusion, let me wish you a success in your consultation and pray that Almighty Allah will guide us to Islam and reward us for our good intention and deeds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.